line just too hard. That definitely helped your short cut. Swing. Oh, you haven't had a hollow one right handed. What a shot! <laughs>
much better. Very good. <laughs> good effort. Good effort. Hey, Dominic! Yeah. After that, fuck up. Oh, what a golf shot. Wow. Get in the hole. Yeah. Get in the hole. Just short. Oh, just short. Amazing. And I've got to go to the sandwich again. Yeah, I just like quit, eh? If it's meant to be, it's up to me. I think it's from a Disney movie. Now, if you want to play golf properly, you've watched me do it here left-handed. I had to teach myself how to hit the ball left-handed. That amount of work to go from, if you watch the series in the playlist, you'll see I went from uh, Rose Garden where I played left-handed with AJ. Then the next round I played was left-handed at Port Elizabeth Golf Course where I shot the 49. And this was the third and final nine holes I played left-handed. I had to go to the range and learn how to hit a golf ball left-handed. I'm not ambidextrous. I do not do anything left-handed. I try, I mean, I've always tried as a kid to try to throw left-handed, but you know how it comes out, like. So that's the basics of it, is that I showed myself how to hit the ball, then I went to go practice and learn to chip and putt left-handed. It took me about, probably I spent about four hours on the driving range, no, I lie probably about six hours on the driving range, learning to hit the ball left-handed. And that's where I discovered I can only hit a seven iron, I can only hit that four hybrid, I can only hit pitching wedge, sand wedge, and obviously the putter. That's where I learned that's all I can hit. I tried the six, didn't work. Eight iron was fine, but, so I think I used the eight iron in the video. So eight and seven were fine, nine I couldn't hit. So I may have an extra club in the bag, but that's where I learned. And then after that, I went to the practice green to learn to chip and putt, for double that amount. So if I spent six hours on the range learning to hit the ball, I went to the chipping and putting greens to go learn to chip the ball. So every time I went for a right-handed round with Didi and Peter and Steve and the White Fox and, and Rahat and Tia, I'd play right-handed, but then I'd stay after golf or come early before golf to learn how to chip left-handed. So I spent about 12 hours learning to chip and putt. Now, that's 18 hours of total practice of, from zero to playing left-handed. Now, that's all it took. One more tip before you go, player. This is gonna help you play. And because you're gonna get better at these clubs, you're gonna play quicker, I promise. But there's a very strong tip I can give you right now to enjoy your golf more and to make more friends and have more people ha happy to play with you. There's one way to stop slow play, and that's not to behave like somebody who is completely outraged that you could possibly hit a bad shot. You're trying to break 100. People playing with you understand that you're shooting high 90 or, or 100 to 110. They understand, they know what to expect. When I play with someone shooting 100 plus, I know what to expect. There's gonna be duff shots, there's gonna be chunk shots, there's gonna be tops, there's gonna be thins, there's gonna be three putts, there's gonna be four putts. I know it's all coming. So do not act outraged and take too long like, oh my God, I can't believe I hit that shot. Oh, I've seen it. I've played with people like this. And these are the people that don't get invited back because we know what you're gonna do. There's no unexpected shots when there's bad shots. So play, accept your shot, move on, play the next one. Commiserations can happen after the round, but stay in the moment, remember the system, just understand that you maybe hit a bad one, but the new par is different to the old par. Remember that you have the right clubs in the bag. Remember that you have a plan, and then that will help you to play, have more fun, meet more people, play more golf, be confident to go play with other people. But number one, 
do not act outraged. You will be the only person outraged that you hit a bad shot because everybody else is expecting a few bad shots because you're shooting over 100.